So I'm gonna go on here a little bit about relative situations. In my experience that I'm experiencing, I'm driving my wife's Jeep and I have no choice. She is on holidays and my car is shitting the bed again. The brakes are going again. They're grinding like really bad. I talked to my brother-in-law, but he's busy working out of town. I can't get that fixed or get him to look at it. Um, this car is just such a piece of crap. I went back to the dealership on Friday and to see what they could do for me. If they can actually get me into another vehicle or not. I mean, I'm not working really to skip the dishes. Uh, delivery job is not re a real job, quote unquote. It's my own business really. And it's not considered anything in the sense of getting another uh, vehicle. The last, this vehicle that I have now, my wife actually refinanced her Jeep in order for me to to get it. And I still had to put money down on it. Um, but this car is just ridiculous. I can't keep, keep servicing it and keep paying money into it. So hopefully they'll be able to do something for me next week. I don't know. We'll see. Just nothing but headache after headache in this relative realm. So, whatever God has for me, it will be. If I got to take it back into the shop and get it fixed, I have to. But that's money. Um, I paid 1100 bucks to get the whole wiper system back in. Um, so, this is not helping matters. This situation. I'm just complaining as a human. But... These are life experiences that God gives us. Relatively speaking, they suck. Uh, so now I got to take my wife's Jeep, which is really a headache because she does not like me driving her Jeep. Maybe I'm just hard on vehicles because she sure as heck don't like it when I take my take her Jeep. <clears throat> but whatever, I got to do what I got to do to make money now. If I gotta re fix this car, it's gonna cost a bit, quite a bit probably to get this looked at and fixed completely and fully. The brakes, um, so yeah. But anyway, I'm out making money today. Um, and my next video, I'm gonna do a word study on the word delight. Now that word delight is beautiful because it's the delight of God's will as he scripts it in this life for each one of us. It's his delight because something grand is going to come out through it that we don't even know yet. The vexing in this life with relative crap around us is necessary because it's part of the experience and the contrastive value is beautiful. But I'm going to focus in on the word delight. And the scriptures associated with it. It's a beautiful word. So I look forward to my next study. Grace and peace, my friends, my beloved brothers and sisters. And thank you for your love, your support. And just continue. Stand in Christ. Know that our allotment is coming soon. Uh, we will take it up among the celestials. This will be just so minuscule when we think about what we're going through now, relatively speaking, absolutely speaking, when we're actually there in our new immortal bodies, this will just seem like what? A fart in the wind.